March Madness indeed, huh? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Well, it is the last of its kind, and it was almost lost. Knight's Foundry built the machines that helped build California. Right, so the water-powered machine shop was turning to rust until a group of volunteers restored it. ABC 10's John Bartell takes us on a tour. If you listen closely... Every time I walk in here... And you drowned out the sound of the old sprockets. I think about those old timers that were here. Or ignore the grind of the metal scraper and the rubbing of the leather belts. Some of the people have said they see them here yet. There's ghosts in here. You may just hear a screech from California's past. This is the last water-powered foundry and machine shop in the United States. This is Knight's Foundry in Sutter Creek. Knight was one of the earliest implementers here in the, in the Mother Load area. Samuel Knight's invention of the Knight Wheel changed the world. The cup-shaped water wheel used high-pressure water to power mining equipment, hydroelectric generators, sawmills, and, of course, the Knight's Foundry. Some of the stuff that was made in the shop here was shipped as far as South America and Africa. The machine shop was built in 1873. The workers here made parts from scratch, and under Knight's supervision, the foundry revolutionized the way that iron was cast. Even after Knight died in 1913, the business continued for another 83 years, until insurance costs became too high, forcing the owner to shut down in 1996. We had dirt and dust all through here, and it was used as a storage facility. The foundry sat vacant for another decade until this group of volunteers brought the foundry back to life. I mean, working with your hands, it's, it's, a, it's a lost art, and, and, our, and our goal here is to preserve those arts. Knight's Foundry is no longer a production facility. It's a classroom that teaches old school techniques to a newer generation. All right, so there's no extension cords or power outlets in this foundry. If you wanted to move a machine, you had to do it with this. You can see throughout the building, anywhere we have a machine, we transfer power from the main shaft through another series of daughter shafts and belts. The complex distribution of this primitive power has a certain beauty. The machines move slowly, so you can see how they work and what work was like in an early era. All right, this is gonna take a while. The craftsmanship and innovations that came out of Knight's Foundry made an impression on the world. I asked for a job here when I was 16 years old in the 70s when it was still in operation. And those who lived in Sutter Creek. They weren't hiring at the time, but when I heard that the, they were going to open this up as a, a, a functioning museum, I, got all, I was very excited. It took time, but these tools built or repaired the machines that got us where we are today. I, if it had not been saved, if it had gone to ruin, it would be a big loss to our whole country. In Sutter Creek, at the Knights Foundry, John Bartell, ABC 10 News. Oh, 